1957, the Soviet Union shocked the world by launching Sputnik, the first ever artificial satellite. It was a metal sphere with four antennas, sending out a simple radio signal. That tiny beep-beep sound sparked a global space race, and today, satellites control almost everything. GPS, internet, weather forecasts, even military defense. But how are these high-tech machines built? What kind of technology makes GPS so precise that it can track a car moving through a crowded city? And how do satellites survive the harsh vacuum of space? The answers will blow your mind, so stick around as we uncover the secrets behind space satellites. Step 1. Designing the satellite. Before a satellite is even built, it starts with a blueprint. Scientists and engineers design it based on its mission. Will it be used for GPS? Will it take pictures of space? Or will it help with internet connections? Every satellite has a specific job, and that decides what parts it needs. One of the most important parts is the body, called the bus. It holds the electronics, antennas, batteries, and fuel tanks. Then there are solar panels to provide power, a communication system to send and receive signals, and sometimes even a robotic arm for special tasks. But here's the big challenge. It must survive in space. No air, extreme heat, and freezing cold. So every satellite is covered in special insulation and made from lightweight but super strong materials like aluminum and titanium. Step 2. Building the satellite. Once the design is ready, it's time to build. This isn't like making a car in a factory. Every satellite is hand-assembled in an ultra-clean lab. Even a tiny speck of dust can damage delicate sensors in space. Each part is carefully tested before being attached. The power system, the antennas, and the computers. Everything has to work perfectly. If something breaks in space, there's no mechanic to fix it. One of the biggest challenges is weight. Rockets can't carry heavy objects, so every piece must be as light as possible. Scientists use carbon fiber and special alloys to make sure the satellite is strong, but not too heavy. Some satellites take years to build because everything must be perfect before it goes to space. A single mistake can cost millions of dollars. Step 3. Testing the satellite. Before launch, satellites go through brutal tests. Why? Because space is a dangerous place. It's freezing cold in the shadows and boiling hot in sunlight. Over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 260 degrees Celsius. Difference. To check if it can survive, the satellite is put inside a vacuum chamber. This removes air and changes the temperature rapidly, just like in space. Then comes the vibration test. Rockets shake like crazy when they launch, so engineers put the satellite on a giant shaking platform to see if anything falls off. Even a loose screw could cause a disaster in space. Another big test is for radiation. Space is filled with deadly radiation from the sun and cosmic rays. Computers inside the satellite must be radiation-proof, or they'll stop working. If the satellite passes all these extreme tests, it's finally ready to go to space. Step 4. Launching the satellite. Now comes the most dangerous step, getting the satellite into space. It's packed inside a rocket, placed on top like a giant backpack. But launching is risky. Rockets are powerful but unpredictable, and explosions can happen if something goes wrong. Once the countdown reaches zero, engines ignite and the rocket blasts off. It reaches speeds of 25,000 kilometers per hour, 15,500 miles per hour, fast enough to escape Earth's gravity. As it climbs, different rocket stages fall away. The final stage releases the satellite into orbit. If everything goes well, the satellite unfolds its solar panels, powers on, and starts its mission. But sometimes things go wrong. In 2018, a Russian satellite failed because of a tiny programming error. One mistake, and millions of dollars are lost in space. Step 5. How GPS satellites work. Now, let's talk about one of the most important types of satellites. GPS satellites. Every time you use Google Maps or check your location, you're using signals from at least four GPS satellites. 
these satellites orbit the Earth at 20,000 kilometers, 12,500 miles, and constantly send signals. Your phone listens to these signals and calculates how far it is from each satellite. By combining data from multiple satellites, it pinpoints your exact location. But here's the crazy part. GPS satellites must be extremely precise. Even a one-second delay can cause an error of thousands of miles. That's why they have atomic clocks that are accurate to a billionth of a second. Without GPS satellites, planes, ships, and even banking systems wouldn't work properly. They are a hidden technology we rely on every day. Step six, how communication satellites work. Imagine a world without cell phones, TV, or the internet. That's what would happen without communication satellites. These satellites beam signals across the planet, allowing us to make calls, watch live sports, and even send emails. They work by receiving signals from Earth, amplifying them, and then sending them to another part of the world. Ever wonder how astronauts talk to mission control? Through satellites, even your internet might be using Starlink satellites launched by SpaceX. One of the biggest challenges for communication satellites is signal delay. Since they orbit thousands of miles away, messages take a fraction of a second to travel. That's why live video calls sometimes lag. Right now, companies like SpaceX and Amazon are launching thousands of new satellites to provide high-speed internet worldwide, even in remote places. Step seven, what happens when satellites die? Satellites don't last forever. Their fuel runs out and their batteries degrade. But what happens next? Some satellites are pushed into a graveyard orbit, far away from Earth, where they stay forever. Others are brought down to burn up in the atmosphere. But here's the scary part. Space junk is becoming a huge problem. Right now, there are over 3,000 dead satellites floating around Earth. Even tiny pieces of space junk can destroy working satellites because they move at 28,000 kilometers per hour, 17,500 miles per hour. Companies and space agencies are now working on cleaning up space using robotic arms, nets, and even lasers to remove space debris. Step eight, the future of satellites. What's next? Satellites are getting smarter, smaller, and more powerful. In the past, satellites were the size of buses, but now tiny CubeSats, as small as a shoebox, are being launched by the thousands. These mini satellites can monitor weather, track ships, and even help in disaster relief. One of the biggest innovations is AI-powered satellites. These satellites won't just collect data, they'll analyze it in real time. Imagine a satellite that can predict storms before they form or track wildfires as they spread. This could save lives and prevent disasters before they happen. Another exciting future technology is space-based solar power. Scientists are working on satellites that capture sunlight in space and beam energy back to Earth, providing unlimited clean power. With new materials, AI, and better rockets, the next generation of satellites could change life on Earth and beyond. Satellites have changed the world. From GPS navigation to live broadcasts, they power the technology we rely on every day. But building and launching them is no easy task. It takes years of planning, precision, and testing to make sure they survive in space. With companies like SpaceX and NASA launching thousands of new satellites, the future of space technology is only getting bigger. Maybe one day, we'll even have satellites helping us colonize Mars. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing space tech stories. Let us know in the comments, what do you think is the most exciting satellite technology?